Alright guys, in this video I wanted to go through some of the different ad objectives that Facebook has. If you don't know what an ad objective is, well Facebook is really good at sending you the type of traffic that you want for your Facebook ad campaign. So if you want traffic and you have a link to a your website in your ad and you click this, then Facebook is going to find you people within your demographic that are more likely to click on your link. If you click engagement, they're going to find you people that are more likely to like, comment, share your post or your ad. Um, app installs, obviously for phone apps or even Facebook apps, video views, lead gen, so people that want to fill out forms, conversions. You can set conversion par parameters to add to carts, um, people that have filled out leads, um, people that have visited your page, page or, or certain pages that you want them to visit or navigate to. Um, that would count as a conversion. So conversions is something that's used a lot in e-commerce and lead gen. Um, at the end of the day, they it is sounds complicated, but it, at the end of the day, it's more the product that matters. So if you have a really good product, whether you click traffic or engagement or conversions, I have found in my experimenting that the results that you get are more or less the same. They may differ by 20, maybe 30% in the uh, performance you get, but it isn't a major difference, right? And like it's interchangeable and it's not clear cut. Say you want more engagement, sometimes if you click conversions to page views, you might end up getting more engagement than clicking engagement. So it's, it's just weird how it works and that's what I found in my tests and data. But for now, like I, I do a lot of e-commerce, so for me, um, I started advertising on Facebook a long time before there was a lot of these objectives to choose from. There's only like two or three, and engagement was one of the predominant ones. And I was doing a lot of, I was selling a lot of merchandise on Facebook, and someone that I was, you know, doing, that was doing the similar, a similar type of work was doing engagement ads, and he was selling literally millions of dollars worth on Facebook. So. Engagement ads have worked well with me and I, I have stuck to them, but a lot of people want to do conversion ads where they can kind of get more data on, well, the thing is you can get the same type of data that you can with engagement and conversion. So the problem with engagement, the difference is that conversion ads gives you a much smaller ad image to work with. Engagement is a nice big ad image, big square image, which for me, I like to show my product a lot clearer to that. But um, yeah, that's the, the differences if you're looking to, you know, we're doing e-commerce, so I use engagement ads, you can go ahead and use conversion ads. Um, so what I normally do is to not complicate everything, I just pretty much use engagement ads all the time. Whether it's videos that I, I'm advertising, whether it's traffic that I want to my blog, whether it's engagement, likes, I just use engagement ads. They work well for me and uh, at the end of the day, um, that's what I've just stuck to and you know I get literally thousand one cent video ads which I get on engage like if I do if I'm promoting a video on my engagement ad I can get it down to like 0 0.001 cent per video view which at the end of the day this might give me the same result but like just maybe for like one percent of a difference why kind of overcomplicate things. So for me personally in my spending of hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook, I've just stuck to engagement ads until there's a major difference in the way that the kind of uh, algorithm works in terms of getting you those people. If there is a major difference, then I might make the switch. But for me so far, it's been engagement ads all the way. If you're looking for a place to kind of go and discuss, ask questions about dropshipping and Teespring, make sure you check out ecomuniverse.com. You can check out follow alongs from people that are kind of documenting their journeys. Uh, we share gold nuggets, we even share campaigns that are working well on Facebook. So make sure you check it out, participate and uh, be part of the community.